kiddos to 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 kiddos I'm trying to advance things for my subs out there, and we're trying to make things as real as three things to write. So, um, United against Chelsea, huge game, massive game, the biggest game of the weekend. A lot has been talked. Some battles have been exchanged. United fans have been coming for me. I am still a complicated Chelsea fan, but I'm a complicated Chelsea fan that may have been awoken by a vision. And my vision is that I think Chelsea could surprise a lot of guys this 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 season. CLSM is minimum. So, games at Old Trafford. And so forth. So we're going to try and break down um, tactics, formations, and everything. Now, I am using the Guardian as a bit of a <laughs> guide, as a bit of a, a um, guiding here. So, this is, so, I mean, I've changed a few names here and there, but this is mostly what the Guardian has put out as proposed lineups. So, this is what we're going to be working with here. So, let's just first deal with the home side. Be respectful. So, this, this is the home side we have here. So, of course, you've got your boy, um, the, the, the hair in there. New signing, Maguire. So I think these two, that is what that is what um, Shokshe will be hoping are going to form a very strong alliance. And I think they'll be hoping that these guys can form a great defensive partnership and will be able to um, pretty much stifle up the um, the attack of your boy Tammy Abraham. Obviously, let's just say Tammy Abraham is here. They really want him to keep this guy isolated, play with his back towards goal, and not make any runs in behind. So, I think what I'll be looking for is how does Maguire fit in to his team, but mostly how does he form an alliance with Lindelof? Of course, for Sokshe, knowing he's a student of Alex Ferguson, he'll definitely want both Juan Bissaka and Shaw to make these runs. And I'm very, very interested to see what a Juan Bissaka can bring in. He was one of the best defenders out there. So, he will be tasked on really stopping the flank attacks from Perhaps a Pulisic who will perhaps be playing on the left here. Sure, we'll have to, be, to stop your boy Pedro there. Those are very two key players for how your boys Chelsea are going to play. This is, this is where we have to we come to pop, pop poverty, slight poverty here. This this does a break. Now, I was going to say Matic, but either Fred or Matic, they're not too strong. But either of them are... Because what I'm thinking is it's probably going to be a double... Pivot because I think McTominay is much more of a defensive minded midfielder. And if it's a Matic, I think it's going to be a double pivot. But if it is Fred, I do believe that we're going to have something more so like this. And I think what Sokshe wants is for these guys to try and win the midfield battle. McTominay will have a lot of key work to do to, to stop either a missing mount or a Barkley making that run in behind um, and correcting with the strikers. And what he wants is to unleash Pogba. But what Sokshe wants, and I think what he'll want in this game, is you two guys. Hold the midfield down and allow Pogba the freedom to connect with the brothers. Because what we want are the, are the, are the brothers to come in here. I'm not being racist. I'm not being anything like that. I love my, my white people, my Hispanic people. But what Sokshi wants, you know, is are the brothers to ride. They want the brothers to, to ride. So, now this, so, the, the Guardian actually has Rashford as a striker. Now, this is what I believe is what will give... Chelsea issues. Rashford out wide right, as we well know, he's very he's, he's very fast, very quick, very direct, and he ha he has skills. Rashford has skills. He's not only patient, he has skills. The thing about Lingard is that I put him out here, but I think Lingard is mostly going to take this a position up here, and this is where Chelsea have to be very wary that Lingard isn't really a player that plays out here. He's a player that plays in behind here, and if they're coming in for a for a counter attack. Lingard will take up this position and will try and run forward with the ball and try and bring in either a Rashford or a Marshall for a through ball. But the the danger mouse, the, 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 the danger mouse, the danger mouse is this dude here, Martial. He's been given the number nine, and I think that's why people are worried. That's why I'm worried because I believe that this might be the return and the um, the the, uh, the arisen of Martial FC, and. The thing about Marshall is that he is very good. He's excellent in the ball. And he was wasted out wide here. 
he was always wasted out to white-white here. So I think him being the striker, that is where issues could arise for Zuma, Christensen, or Zuma, Rudiger. It is imperative that Chelsea don't give him space. If he's given space, it could be deadly. But who knows? This could very much be a shape that Sokja could take. Lingard being the sort of number 10. Pogba there for the assist. These two hole holding it in there. And you've also got the support from those two round there. Um, but Martial does worry me. I think the, the, the thing that Chelsea have to be worried about the most is Martial getting the ball in danger areas. Rashford also, I think Rashford is much more is more dangerous maybe as a striker than out wide, but he could still do some things out wide. And the positions that Lingard takes up and restricting Pogba. That's the key thing. Now let's go to the away team now. Um Chelsea. So again, using the Guardian as the name, I don't know where Arthur Balaga in there. Now, Christensen was named here. And I did put Christensen down, but I then went with Rudiger. Um, it could be either or, but a decision me needs to be made. I'm going to go with Rudiger. Like I, it is very important because especially with the loss of David Luiz, you have to have an experienced head there. Christensen has a greater upside than Rudiger. He does, but with the loss of Zuma, uh, the loss of Rudiger, been a while since Zuma has been back in the whole Chelsea lineup. Rudiger understands Emerson. He understands Aspi. He's played with these guys, and he uh, he has an understanding with this team. It is, it is, it is, and he's played more games than Christensen. Get him in there. Part him with, with Zuba. Keep it nice, nice and sweet. Your boy Aspie in there. Obviously, he'll be tasked, obviously, minding your boy Luke Shaw and um, Lingard, obviously. So, Emerson over Alonso for sure. Now, this down, the, the, the midfield, this is where it gets very interesting here. This is the golden child. Great film by Eddie Mo Murphy. Check out my YouTube channel, Half of Thoughts, for my review of that Eddie Murphy film, Golden Child. This is the Golden Child, Ungolo Kante. <clears throat> I want to know how is Lampard going to employ Kante? Is he going to employ Kante as the protector of the defense who occasionally comes out, then gives the ball to a Mason Mount to then advance forward? Or is he going to say for Kante, I want you to cover up and down? Help these dudes. Hustle with Kovacic. Supports um, Mason Mount up there. I want to know how he's, he's going to utilize that. Because how Kante is utilized and used and how effective he is could pretty much decide this game against Man United. So Mason Mount, boom. A lot of has, has been said about this dude. And I, and I, and I believe that with how Sokja plays, how attacking they are, Mason Mount will have a lot of opportunities, to, especially on the counter-attack to launch the ball and drive forward with the ball. So his decision-making and his bounce on the ball is going to be key because it has to be very crisp. And as we all know, this this this, this is the American icon. This is the American icon. This is the American eagle. This is the American eagle. So we want to know how Pulisic is going to ride. How is Pulisic going to ride? How is he going to be utilized? Because I, I, I am looking for Pulisic to receive that ball two feet and hustle through. Because it's going to be a fascinating uh, thing between him and, of course, one Bissaka. Um, but but I, th I think what Chelsea have to do is be fluid. So for Pulisic, whether you want to go out wide, it won't even come in here as a number 10. It won't even support Abraham a, a little bit or even want to make that small diagonal run. So Emerson is going to be very important because Emerson is what will give Pulisic the freedom to make it a nice little sneaky run in there. Or to come out wide, come deep, and maybe look for the cut, cut back. Because the issue is this. Pedro is going to have to do a lot of the, the legwork. As Piliqueta is not a mobile, marauding right back. He's got a good delivery, but he is not as athletic and as mobile as an Emerson. So Pedro will have to do a lot of that legwork out there on, on the wide. And again, I, I put in Michi in there. But let's see what Tommy Abraham can do. I think this 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 could this is going to be a very, very key season for him. You know, is he going to do well? Is he going to ride? We just, need to, we just need to know. So I think the important thing for Abraham is you're not just a target man. You're not a target merchant. Because what Maguire and Lindelof want to do 
sorry, we'll let's go back there. What they want to do is to isolate you and play and force you with your back to go. And what they did want are for crosses to come into the box. You know, because Pedro is not going to really, 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 really cross. Aspin may make that cross from from deep, which which will require Abraham to now be the the target man. Um, Pulisic, we know that can get to the by. See, Pulisic is more much more of that natural winger who can get to the byline and bring that ball. Hence, why a mount and even like a canter just out here could be very important to receive the deliveries from your boy Pulisic and so forth. Um, so, but I think for what Lampard will want to do for Abraham is come a little bit deeper. Don't be restrictive. Do not isolate yourself and try and play close in and look for combination. Look for nice, interesting combinations with ball to, to, to feet. That's what he'll definitely want. So back in here again, you know, so, so I think, you know, for United, I think that it's going to be McTominay will have a huge role too to play. Because McTominay's task is to stop Mount and to stop any counterattacks and to make sure that there is there, 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 there are no transitional plays that Chelsea have. Fred or Matic so forth, but Expo, McTominay is going to have a huge role, role to play. What Pogba wants is give me the freedom to affect the game. Give me the freedom to bring in Lingard and, and Rashford. Let us combine, because this is what they did to devastating effects against Arsenal. Let, let, let us... Let's me and me combine with my amigos to test that defense because that is what Sokcha will be going for is Rudiger is shaky. Rudiger is shaky. Zuma hasn't played for Chelsea in a while. This is um, Zuma's first game back after him being loaned out. Even if I believe in Zuma, I think Zuma is still Chelsea's best central defender. The point of being central defense and so forth, especially in a high level, is you need time. You need, you need time to really know your way around and, and, and see things through. So, I think it's going to be an exciting game. I'm very interested to see how Abraham is, is how effective he's going to be. I want to see what Mount does. I want to see how Kante is, is, is utilised, whether Kogovicic can hold this place down. And how can Emerson and Pulisic both come combine? Um, what is Pogba's role going to be? How much effect will Lingard have, have in the game? Is he going to be very evasive and form... And pick up dangerous, dangerous spots to bring in a Marshall, bring in a a, a Rashford, are Shaw and Wan Bissaka especially. Are they going to be able to get right down to to the byline and really make things very very difficult for Chelsea? There are so many different kinds of permutations happening. And of course, if you've got your boy De Gea, who he <laughs> that boy can keep. So speaking about this, giving my my thoughts. I said a lubrication, but no. I think I'm going to ride with a, a 2-1 Chelsea. I think I'm going to ride with a 2-1 Chelsea. Um, I think Chelsea can, 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 can take this game. I think they can take, take this game. But whatever the case may, may be, it's not by my prediction. It's about how I think things can go down. So remember, me and Nick's hopefully will be doing a live chat, a live watch along of the game. So join us Sunday from around 4 p.m. We'll be building up to the game and we'll be watching and viewing this game and seeing how things go. So yeah, man. Don't be anti-American. Thank you. Thanks for watching the vid. To support that half of football lot on your boy HH, think about becoming a Patreon. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos by clicking the link in the description box below.